In today's video, I want to show you kind of an interesting shallow cross style of concept um, that you can do out of Trips Tight End in Madden 22. Now, Trips Tight End is by far, in my opinion, the best offense in this game uh, for several different reasons. I think you get great pass protection out of it. I think you get great route combinations. Um, and you have so many threats within the formation that can really put the defense in a hard position. It's got an incredible alignment and great motion snaps. Um, there's just a lot of really, really good things that you can do with this formation. That being said, uh, we're going to jump into this video real quick. Now, we're going to do this out of PA Counter Go. However, if you do not have a tight end apprentice or a hot route master, then you would want to do this out of the play Pat's YN because we are going to be using a tight end post or that kind of tight end 10 yard in type cut. Um, that's what we're looking at here today. And also, if you want to get my full Trips Tight End Offensive ebook, it's in my Patreon. So you can sign up for the Patreon uh, for just $10 a month and get the entire uh, ebook. The cool part about the Patreon is not only can you cancel any time, but as soon as you sign up, you're not only going to get the Trips Tight End ebook, you're also going to get all 15 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides. I've got Gun Bunch, Bunch Tight End, Spread, Air Raid. Uh, we're working on compression sets right now, a couple new things we're going to be doing and teaching. But anyways, um, there's so, so much stuff over there. So if you uh, want to get all of the content uh, over at the Patreon, it's only $10 a month. So for, for literally for everything. You get all the updates too. Most of the eBooks have been updated uh, throughout the course of the season if I feel like they needed to be. And we typically release an update or a new ebook in the Patreon probably two to four times a week. So if you want to get access to all that, again, there's a link in the description below. And let's take a look at this little shallow crossing type of play. And I really like this play. So um, what it basically is going to do a really good job of is it's going to do a good job of attacking their user. And specifically, it's also going to be doing a really good job of attacking Mabel coverage, like double Mabel coverage. So to illustrate here, I'm going to just go to a Mabel concept here. And the route combination is basically this. Let me make sure that guy's in the third. There we go. Okay. So the route combination is this. We're going to flat the outside uh, slot, which is Scotty Miller, the triangle receiver. We're going to drag Mike Evans, which is the square receiver. We're going to streak um, Chris Galwin, which is the inside slot or the circle receiver. And then we're going to post the tight end, which is the tight end or uh, the X receiver. Okay. Now, our first read is a seam streak right up the middle of the field. If we can hit this, we're going to pass lead that to the left. Oftentimes, you can hit that. McCordy actually was a little bit of an exception. Um, typically, also, if they're not in wide. Like, it's a lot easier if they're not in wide. If they are in wide, you can still hit it. But if they're not in wide, typically the safeties are backed off a little bit more. Um, so, But anyway, it's just a quick little pass lead outside type of read. You need to, if you have, like... Um, if you have like deep out a lead or something, it is probably best to go ahead and just simply take the like aggressive catch it uh, just because it's, it's just going to be a little easier to kind of make sure that the defense can't get there like that right there. You see how that aggressive catch is what's interesting is that this year you don't just jump up in the air, right? Like they give you different animations for different situations and oftentimes in the seams you get pretty decent animations if you just kind of low ball aggressive or kind of like it's almost like a back shoulder type deal okay so that's your first read if you don't like that read then you can go to your second read which is of course your tight end and this is a really really good route now what makes this route so good is a couple of things the first thing is the fact that on the outside of the field it's like what most people will do is let's say you're trying to run that concept a lot of people will like what the tampa 2 brings to the table and what I mean by that is that you do a concept that looks kind of like this. Well, this vertical pull route is going to pull that cloud all the way back there and put him in a pretty good position to play that ball, as you can see. So if you're getting a lot of cover two, this is a really, really, really good setup. Because now what you're going to notice is that even this, this is exactly the same coverage, literally the exact same coverage out of cover two. And we're going to run the second route combo, which is this. Now we have underneath patterns, and so it should hold this cloud. Look at the cloud. It's way underneath, way, way underneath. 
and you can get over the top for a nice little gain. So, I mean, that's a huge, huge, huge deal to me. Okay, the fact that we can really kind of dumb out the the cover two zone is really really cool. Uh, I showed it against Mabel concept already. I want to show it against cover four drop. Uh, cover four drop. It does. It's a, cover four drop actually has a decent shot, but we'll show you it. You'll see here that outside quarter. It kind of looks like he'll play it, but he really doesn't. And it's just one of those things that you're going to typically be able to have. You know, pretty pretty good amount of success with it and then this is also a really good concept for man to man uh, so let's say for example that they're gonna go to suppress man and they're gonna go with purples and then they're gonna use or this guy over the middle of the field but what you can do is if you get a win off of the line of scrimmage with Godwin and let me go back to let me reset my play here but if you get a win off the line of scrimmage because they are in, impressed what you can do is just pass this, you have the whole outside of the field to throw, and I don't know how Jackson caught up, I guess he's just that fast, but you see the idea. If you get a step on him, and in Mutt, you got, everybody's pretty much the same speed, so it's a little bit easier to hit this. Now this coverage right here is something that I think is becoming very popular. I talked about it as being one of the easiest ways to run defense in this game. You just run Mike Blitz 3, use to the middle of the field with two purples, um, that's where this drag is really underrated. Uh, the drag route to Evans is really, really, really good for a couple reasons. So the reasoning is because it has a long way to run. Um, there's a saying that is if you want to beat man, you want to run against man and you want to sit against zone. Well, that's kind of how this route works. And what I mean by that is it's just gonna it's just gonna literally just run across the field if you have short out a lead on him it's a lot it's a lot better um, and then of course you have your tight end post now your tight end post what you want to do with this is ideally in mutt you want to put like deep out a lead on him my controllers are going nuts here um, you want to put deep out a lead on him and what that'll do is allow you to aggressive catch that and and basically cut it off so that you don't get intercepted uh, so I'll show you here, just aggressive catch it. You don't really, unless you're like on the sideline, I really like to just aggressive catch that over the middle of the field just because I've thrown one too many picks on it, you know, to want to not to not do that, okay? Um, if you wanted to throw your running back on a wheel, you certainly could do that as well. Um, this is also really, really good against match. And the reason why is because this drag um, is kind of your check down, right? If everything fails, you could just throw to the drag. Real simple, real easy reads, but really I call this a lot. If I'm getting, and, and this is something you'll get. This is legitimately like, I played um, I played Henry earlier in the year. This is basically what he ran. He called cover two. He put this guy in an inside quarter over here. This guy, um, uh, the slot was manned up on on the slot like that, and then he had a vertical hook. Pretty sure. And then his user in the middle of the field was basically his cover. Okay, why this is so good is because the crossing route to circle would be guarded, and then that post, if I had to fade on the outside, would be would be difficult. Well, now with this concept, you're going to see that now the tight end post is absolutely wide open, and you can take that as much as they want to give it to you. So it's just a great way to manipulate cover two because most people, when you start running slant post. They're gonna run. They're gonna try to go to cover two, and with this concept, it allows you to. I mean, just really have a good opportunity to just crucify cover two. You also have the seam streak um, over the middle of the field. A new coverage that's gaining some steam in Madden. I know that Zan is a big proponent of this. I think I talked about it a lot in the beginning of the year, but it's basically these guys outside. You know, I get a lot of this, and then they're gonna try to use her down the pipe basically well if they bite on the post this is going to just put a little bit more stress on their user so here they bite you could throw that with an inside pass lead and the way aggressive catches are in this game you could potentially rack catch that or aggressive catch that up the seam uh, for a pretty nice little gain so your first read is always the streak if you can hit the streak take the streak and it gets cover three cover four you should be fairly easily able to hit the streak now, if they go to, let's say they go to cover three, 
or cover two, but they put the middle linebacker in a third. Um, you still can hit this streak, but it's not as open. Let's see here. You still can kind of throw that early. So um, I'm just saying it's a great little pull route. It's also a great little – it's a really good blitz beater. I'll show you that real quick. One last thing here. So let's say they try to blitz you out of this. Well, I mean, it's just really hard to do that because this streak is so open so fast. So you just pass lead that to the left. Obviously, if you get that animation, then I guess it's I guess it's great defense. But let me show it to you one more time. And again, you're just I mean, you literally just pass lead it outside. So snap, pass lead left, and you can kind of cut that off. So, anyways, guys, that's the that's the concept. Um, out of trips tight end, how it works, why it's so good, how you can kind of mix it in with everything else from this offense. If you want to learn the entire trips tight end scheme, uh, I would really encourage you to consider joining our Patreon. It's only ten dollars a month, and it literally gets you access to everything. All the ebooks, I got fifteen of them over there. We've got more coming out uh, in the coming weeks, and we've also got a ton of stuff um, in terms of updates that we've done to trips tight end, kind of walking you through. Um, you know, just basically the best concepts, the best combos. And if you want to learn all of that stuff, it's only $10 a month. So if you're still watching the video and you want to go check it out, head on down to the description of the video. You can click the link that I put down there and you can go over and check out that Patreon membership.